So right now we need to return this back to be an abstract class and then we need to create implementations. We can no longer directly use this class, okay? Because we have abstract methods here, okay? So uh, let's come to here and then we're going to, let's start with PDO. So we're going to say PDO query builder. So we're going to have a PDO query builder class, which is going to extend okay so this is going to extend the query builder class so once we do that we now need to actually provide implementation of those abstract methods so once i inject it with my test editor you can see all of the abstract method that we need to uh, provide implementation for so get count last insert id prepare execute okay so we're just going to uh, keep on writing the code for this so we're not going to waste any time let's just write a code for pdo it's really easy we're going to say return this to get all of the all of the data from the uh, result set so we can say this statement fetch all and then we can say fetch fetch everything and this gives us all of the result sets remember that in our where clause we just set the statement. We don't do anything with the statement. So the variable statement will always be set whenever we execute. So when we execute, statement will be set and it will contain the result. Okay. And then that result, we can then pass through to other methods or use it inside other methods to really get the data that we want to get. So let's come back again to PDO Query Builder. We've implemented the get method. We now need to implement the count method. So we're just going to say return this statement. So for PDO is uh, really straightforward. The only issue is with MySQLi. So in order to get the number of records, we use the row count method to do that. So we have get and count implemented. We now need the last inserted ID. So we're going to say return this connection okay so for pdo the last inserted id will be tied to the connection not the statement then we can say last insert id so we can get the last insert id like this from the connection and then now we come to the prepared statement okay so for prepared we also need to make reference to the connection so we can say return this connection and then we can call the prepare method say prepare and then we pass it the query and then we need to implement the execute method so for execute we have a statement then we are going to just say statement execute and then what we need to pass through to this will be the bindings so that will be an array of values that PDO should use to replace the question mark that is in the place order. And then once we do that, we need to empty the bindings. So set this bindings should be equal to an empty array. And then we need to do the same thing for the place orders. So place orders should be equal to empty arrays too. So basically we want to empty it for the next usage and then we can say return the statement. So once we execute, we really want to return the statement. So that's why wherever we call the execute method, like we did in the query builder, you see, we save it back to the statement, which is why we can then use that statement to create the different abstractions that we have here. Like we can basically come come to the top here where we have the get method. And, and from the statement, we can get all of the record. We can get a row count and any other thing that we would like to do. And then the last method here, fetch into. So this method really is going to be useful later. Okay, but we're going to just implement it because it's really simple to implement. This statement, and then we're going to fetch all, 
Okay, so there are two ways for us to fetch now. Okay, so one way is using get, and then the second way is to use fetch into. So fetch into it's going to be what we really use in the application. Okay, once we once we begin to uh, actually create the the classes that we need for the actual application, our models, we're going to have to use fetch into. But for other use cases, we can actually just use get method. And what I'm doing here, because with, with PDO, we have different ways to actually fetch data. We are saying that we want to fetch into a class. Whichever class was specified here, we want to fetch the data into that class. And what this does is that it just takes the, the raw data from the database and looks at the class and then use the columns from the database to create properties if they are not existing in the class but if they are existing then it just populates the the uh, properties of the class that corresponds to the columns in the database and then we can have a, an object which we can then use to do different things which you're going to see how to do later when we begin to talk about models and repositories all right, so that's the much later. But for now, uh, let's just leave it like this, okay? I always prefer to use this at the top. So I'm going to come here and say use PDO. And that's it.